Hi guys, we are back with the video review for the brand new Octavia. Skoda entered India way back in 2001 with the launch of the Octavia sedan. This car became an instant hit and helped build up the brand image for the company. The second generation Octavia was launched in the form of the Laura in India, which was followed by the third generation Octavia that was launched in 2013. Now, four years down the line, the company is set to launch a midlife facelift of its global best-selling sedan. It was one of the first cars in India that came based on the new MQB platform. We drove the new Skoda Octavia in lovely Chandigarh to find out what all has changed on this segment bestseller. Come, let's have a closer look at it. Skoda has gone a bit unconventional with the design of the new Octavia. The most noticeable changes can be spotted up front with the new gloss black butterfly grille and the brand new Quadra LED headlights. They get a new four-pod headlamp design that resembles the one found on the previous generation Mercedes-Benz E-Class sedan. Now, no other car in this segment has experimented with such a design and it definitely looks more unique. The crystal glow LED daytime running lights again look very intricately detailed. There is not much of a change on either the sides or the rear, with new design 16-inch alloy wheels and a re-detailed LED tail light and rear bumper. Overall, the new design to most people will be limited to the new headlights, but there are a lot more changes that can be spotted if you look closer. You won't feel awkward or even surprised when you step inside the cabin of the 2017 Skoda Octavia. Now, this is mainly because the design of the dashboard is largely the same, as is the console for the infotainment system. But what Skoda has done is stepped up the cabin quality by a couple of notches. The dashboard continues with the black and beige theme, but it is only when you touch it that you realize where all the money and effort has gone. The multi-function steering wheel is the same, but there again the instrument cluster now gets a multi-info display, which also gives out GPS directions as well as info on the tire pressure monitoring system. The other new bit on the inside is the brand new 8-inch infotainment system. This one comes with all-glass layout and a capacitive touchscreen for the display as well as the surrounding physical buttons. The system comes with the SmartLink suite that supports Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and MirrorLink. But the new feature that according to Skoda is the most useful is the ability to pair with the Skoda apps. The new Skoda Media Command app or as the company likes to call it, Boss Connect allows you to connect your phone to the infotainment system wirelessly through a mobile. By doing this, you gain full control of the system. This is a rather useful feature for owners who will be spending most of their time in the rear seat as they also set a destination on the infotainment system via the app for the chauffeur to follow. Seat comfort up front and the rear is excellent and scores high on practicality too. There are two new USB ports below the rear AC vents that can be used to charge your phone on the go. Interior ambient lighting with 10 different colors to choose from. Wow! The intensity of the LEDs can also be adjusted for the doors and the footwells individually. There's also a manually folding rear sun line that keeps the sun's rays at bay. Cool, isn't it? The dual zone climate control system plays a significant role in keeping you cozy while the cool panoramic sunroof adds to the cabin ambience. A feature that we did miss though was ventilated front seats thanks to the Chandigarh heat, which its competition offers. Overall though, this cabin feels plush, upmarket and easily the best in class even though it missed out on a couple of features. The new Skoda Octavia carries forward its power plant options in the form of the 1.4-litre TSI petrol, 1.8-litre TSI petrol and a 2-litre diesel. On our test drive, we sampled the 1.8 TSI and the 2-litre diesel, mated to the 7-speed DSG gearbox and the 6-speed DSG gearbox respectively. The 1.8 TSI has been one of our favourite turbo petrol motors and that remains unchanged even with this facelift. The engine feels extremely responsive, especially in sport mode and revs so freely. 
This gem of a motor will rev to over 6,500 RPM and sound sporty while doing so. Although drive it hard and this motor will drink gasoline at an unbelievable rate. No such issues with the diesel though. The diesel engine is all about the massive torque output. In gear acceleration is strong and the engine revs right up to 4,900 RPM which is fun every now and then. What's not fun is the NVH levels. That's a constant reminder that there's a diesel engine under the hood that clatters and groans on the move. The 2017 Skoda Octavia has always been a fun to drive car and that has further improved with this update. The rear track has been increased by 20mm on the diesel and 30mm on the petrol. This gives the car more stability at high speeds. Skoda has also tweaked the suspension that feels much better than before at absorbing sharper bumps. The Octavia comes with an all-disc brake setup and gets an electronic differential on all variants that helps handling. Let's come to the safety features. The safety features on the 2017 Skoda Octavia include 8 airbags, ABS, EBD, ESP, ASR, tire pressure monitoring system, rear view camera, cornering fog lamps, park distance control with hands-free parking, and iBuzz fatigue alert system. Wow, that's quite a mouthful, isn't it? There's a button on the central flow console that enables all the 12 sensors around the car which helps it detect a parking space, parallel or perpendicular. It then alerts the driver of an available space. By following the instructions on the display, the driver needs to change the gear modes between reverse and drive and the car will steer itself automatically into the space. One thing to be noted though here is that during this process the car won't brake itself automatically when it detects an obstacle like most other auto parking systems. So be careful! The iBuzz fatigue detection system detects drowsy steering inputs from the driver and tells them to take a break via a sign alert on the instrument cluster. This feature is sure to save so many lives. The Skoda Octavia was already the best in class entry luxury sedan ever since it was launched in 2013. This 2017 version just strengthens its case of being the same. The quality on the insides is unquestionable and it also gets the auto parking system that is found on cars from a segment above it. It is fun to drive thanks to the strong engines and the quick shifting DSG gearboxes. The introduction of GSG this month means that the 2017 Skoda Octavia could mean even more value considering the proposed lower taxes on luxury sedans and SUVs. Considering all these factors, we think the Skoda Octavia will continue to rule the segment for some time to come. That's all for now folks. See you soon. Bye.